Okay, good afternoon. Welcome to Ian Ashulchan Aruch. Today is Sim and Simon Lamed Vav 36 in Arachayim. We're dealing with uh, writing the letters. And also, the third Allah talks about Shatna's gets. These seven letters need to have tagim, crowns in the letters. You look at any Sefer Torah, there's crowns in certain letters. So, I mean, this is a halacha that's quoted from Menachos, the Gemara Menachos. Um, <coughs> Why these letters? Why these letters need crowns? To the point the box says that it's possible if you don't put the crowns in these letters. So the Mishra Bura brings an explanation. He says, Because of the end of the Mishra, because of Sefer Agiras Hatiul, Shan is who also is Satan Az, right? A harsh Satan. Behem Bez Makachikim Dolim. Or A's, I don't know. A's a goat, a Satan. And A's, Vizel Gamkin, so shall Shatnez gets. Gets Gamkin, Shem Akach, Gechel. All these things, Satan and A's and gets, are types of uh, prosecutors in the heavenly court. How do you save yourself from these three vicious prosecutors that prosecute you in based in Shalmal? You have to have swords. You know, they, these Tagim are not really crowns, they're swords. And the swords fight these prosecutors. I mean, the question with this is that, first of all, I mean, Shatnez, it really should be Satan Az Getz. Why do we call it Shatnez? We put it, the word together and Getz. Um, I don't know where Getz is in Makatrig. I don't know where that's from. And also, there's Tagin, they're called crowns. They're not called Harovim. They're not called swords. So there might be a, a, a different explanation. I want to offer a different explanation. Shatnez Getz, uh, Getz appears in the Mishnayas when it talks about. Um, a spark, right? A camel carrying pishtun. This is a mission of Baba Kama. I think on the Afsamech. A uh, mission is carrying, a camel's, a camel's carrying a, a load of pishtun, a load of flax, which you make into linen, right? On its on its, on its back. And it passes, and uh, 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 a blacksmith is is pounding, I don't know, this hammer or whatever, and a spark flies out from the blacksmith, and it, it ignites uh the pishtan on the back of the camel, and therefore the Mishnah discusses, you know, who's responsible for the damage, the Baal Agamel or the Baal, the blacksmith for causing this spark, and the pishtan, this camel went with the pishtan and burned down a house or something like that. So who's responsible? That's what the Gemara and Baba Kam, which the name moment is who's responsible. But he uses gets, gets means a spark over there, a spark, and it's talking about pishtan over there. Pishtan is half of shotness, right? It's Samaro pishtan. So <clears throat> I would like to say over here that Tagin and shotness and gets. It's called a crown. You put a crown on Shatna's gets because with the Mishnah says with just Pishtan alone, the gets, the spark will ignite the Pishtan. Because Pishtan linen or flax is very easy to ignite. That's why the Mishnah uses that example. If you combine Samaro Pishtan, which is Usr in the Torah, you're not supposed to have clothes made of Samaro Pishtan, right? Wool and linen. But if you combine wool and linen in the right times, like for the midst of Sitzis, you're supposed to have wool and linen. And if you listen to my Shurim, Masachas Kilayim, I also mentioned that the whole Isra of Kilayim of Samaro Pishtan. Is only in places where it's going to be detrimental. Uh, the wear, the, the the fabric created by the the, the semiro pishtim, the, the wool and linen, is not going to protect you adequately. It's going to be a bad fiber. But when it it's it, it's used in a place like suits or fancy socks, the, the, the neckline of a suit, where it's going to be strong yet supple. So then I said it's actually a mila, and that's why sitzis. If you learned my shiur about sitzis and hilchas shachanar, you're part of yeshiva's youth. You'll see all my shiur. So you're listening to Mishli Yomishir, you're listening to Shulchan Aruch Yomishir, we did Hilchah Sitzis. And I said, I thought the Svar, the Sod, the, the secret behind Sitzis is not talking about what we commonly associate with Sitzis, it's talking about a type of underwear. So there, Semero Pishtim is recommended in that case, like, because it says, that's what Esek Dochalosa say, by Semero Pishtim, by Sitzis. So when it's recommended, so if you do that, then if you just have linen or Pishtan, that will be ignited by I guess by the spark. But if you have protection, you have the right protection, you listen to the Torah. This is very important. We're talking about Cheshman and Nefesh and all the Hilchas Tefillin, is that it's so important because every decision is an important decision. You have to pick one way or over the other. You only have two options, one way or the other. So if you have to pick one way over the other, you're going to have to rely on what the Torah allows you. When the Torah permits something, you have to rely on it. Even though you might think, Kilayim, Kilayim, Shatnez, Shatnez, I have to avoid this at all costs, make every Chumrah possible. No, if the Torah is saying now is the time to wear shatnas, that's where you should wear shatnas. And that will make you a king. That will make you a king. You make the right Reich Hashem and Nefesh because that will protect you from the fire, the, the spark of the Yitzhar Hara, the fire, the Ish of uh, Gehenna. It will protect you. If you wear Shemaru Pishan, you wear shatnas when it's mutter. You wear shatnas when it's mutter. When the Torah tells you to wear shatnas, it will protect you from that spark. It won't ignite 
the pishtan because we've been wearing the wool and pishtan. It's not as as flammable, and that's the Torah telling you rely on the hetair. When the Torah tells you now now it's time to wear shatnas, now it's time to wear some of the pishtan yachtav, you should be wearing it. You should rely on the hat there, and it's very so important to and nefesh because. Every chumra ends up being a kula, and every kula ends up being a chumra. So if you're too machmir, when the Torah tells you to make it, and rely on shatnas, you're going to end up with a chumra, you end up with a mistake, and arun your cheshbon nefesh. That's how it all ties together. Shatnas gets a tag, and it'll make you a king if you rely on the Ethereum that Chazal allowed you to do. See you in the next one.